Welcome Superstar to this demonstration of the rocks, pebble, sand analogy for time management. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a really long time. The intention of this video, what I'm going to do is to help you see your time in a whole new way. Perceive how you use your time, how you organize your time with brand new eyes through this analogy that changed the way I look at my time. My intention is that you gain a whole new appreciation for how you invest your time in what matters and how you sometimes might be wasting your time on things that don't matter. Now, I have to share obviously that I did not invent this analogy. I didn't come up with it. The first person that I ever heard it credited to is Stephen Covey, although I don't know even if he's the one that invented it. But the way he does it is he tells it like a story. You can research online, you can find Stephen Covey's approach to it. I'm gonna just go ahead and do straight away, do the demonstration for you live here in my production studio. Now before I do my demo, just wanna invite you to check out my channel. I have so many amazing videos about how to build a purpose-driven, successful coaching practice. And I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I'd love to hear what you think about my demonstration below. So here we have rocks, pebbles, and sand. By the way, aren't they pretty? <laughs> I had a lot of fun shopping for these. All right, so think about the rocks are representing the biggest, most important, valuable things in your life. So for, for you, the rocks might be time with your family, it might be focusing on fulfilling your life's purpose, writing a book or uh, doing artwork or making music or being a great mother, all of these things you know that, that really matter to you and that at the end of your days, you'll look back on your life and say, this is what mattered. I'm really glad I did these things. The pebbles here represent things that are less important, but you know, still need to get done. Things like perhaps re returning a phone call from a family member, like a, not, a, not a close, close family member, or uh, writing back to a, a, a valued colleague, or wishing somebody you love a happy birthday. These are things that you really want to do and that are good to do, but they aren't the rocks that you're gonna look back in your life and think, okay, this is what made my life meaningful, right? But they are things that matter and maybe support these things, okay, perhaps. Things like, you know, buying another car or, or making more money or things like that. You know, sometimes in the moment they can feel more important than they actually are in the grand scheme of things. Now here, you might not be able to see this. This is my version of sand. It's really like glittery rocks. And the sand represents really the minutia of life, things that really don't matter all that much at all, but we sometimes get caught up doing them and, and, and spending, and I'll go ahead and say wasting a lot of time on them. This might be scrolling through Facebook or scrolling through Instagram, organizing your inbox, right? Or organizing your voicemails or, or things like that. This is, you know, mowing your lawn, perhaps. Th things that at the end of the day, you won't even remember if you did them or not. Nobody really appreciates them very much. They, they really don't matter, but they take up a lot of time. Now, if you look at these three jars, you can see that this jar is pretty full, right? It's, it's, it's full of these rocks. This jar of pebbles is pretty full, and this jar of sparkly sand is pretty full. Now, we could not fit maybe more than maybe one rock into this. You know, we'd have to squeeze it in there and try to get in there, right? If we wanted to, if we had a life that was filled with this minutia, it's very hard to get any pebbles or any rocks in there, right? However, if you get the, if you have a jar that, consider this big jar your life, right? This is, this is what you're able to fit in your life, right? Now, because you have all these big rocks in first, it means that you have, it looks full, but there's actually some space left in here, right? When you fill in the life, your life with the big rocks first, you have room for more activities. You can fit more into the jar, right? So we can, we can start to fill this jar with some pebbles, shake it up a little bit, let those pebbles move around and shake their way through. Look at that. We can fit even more, we can fill it up all the way to the top. Okay, shake it, shake it, shake it. We can make room and let that, let those rocks settle in. Boom, these pebbles 
See how they're kind of making their way to those empty spaces at the bottom, right? Now you would say that's pretty full already, but look, we can still fit in more. I'm gonna go all in, right? Keep going. I've never done this before, this is fun. Okay, shake, shake. Get it in there. Let's put the cap on this and let's really shake it up. Okay, ready? All right, now, now we can really shake it. Get those. Look at that. Look at their pebbles are making their way down. Look at how much more we were able to get into this jar. And let's keep going. Let's say, wow, we can even put more of these pebbles in there. <laughs> Look at that. All right, that feels pretty full. Now it looks pretty full to you, right? But wait, there's more. We're gonna go ahead and start to dump some of this sand in there. We can still have room for a little Facebook, little Instagram action. Once we've got the rocks in our life set, we have room for everything else, right? Look at that, we can fit a lot more sand in here. I could fit a lot more of this stuff. So see how much is available to be filled when we fill the rocks first, when we put the important things into our life First, we have room for everything else. But if we, if we fill up our life with the minutia, then we don't have room for the rocks or the pebbles. And so in, in the world of this being the analogy for your life, what I'm inviting you to is make sure that you're making space for the rocks first. You've got to have the rocks in place first to make sure that you do the things that really matter in your life. And then you'll have room left over for the less important things, and even some of the fun little minutia that matters not, not at all. So remember the jar, remember the rocks and pebbles and sand as you're organizing your life, as you're making room for the things that matter. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. If you are looking for coach, a mentor, a guide to support you, not only in building and growing your group coaching business, but also someone who's going to really encourage you and invite you to play full out as a human and do the things that make you happy and joyful and fulfilled, then let's connect. You can find out more about my programs and services at superstarbusinessbreakthrough.com.